Hello family, we bless the name of the Lord. We thank him for another day. Today, as I pray for Israel, my focus is on Arabs in Israel. But to give some context, I want to read some excerpts from an article published on the Times of Israel website in December 2021. There's a paragraph that says Israel's Christian community grew by 1.4% in 2020 and numbers some 182,000 people, with 84% saying they, they were satisfied with life in the country. There is another paragraph that says Christians make up 7% of Israel's Arab population and 76.7% of Christians in Israel are Arab. The largest Arab Christian population centers in Israel are Nazareth with 21,400, Haifa 16,500 and Jerusalem 12,900. It is estimated, um, this is just um, based on research I've come across also on Wikipedia, that at the end of 2022, Christians made up 1.9% of the Israeli population, numbering approximately 185,000. And it goes on to say 75.8% of Christians in Israel are Arab Christians. May, Christians make up 6.9% of the Arab citizens of Israel, which shows that there isn't much of a difference between the statistics given in the Times of Israel article I've made reference to. Um, but I just wanted to give some context as the Lord had laid it on my heart that we pray for Arabs um, living in Israel or residents of Israel. My passage of scripture for today is from Psalm 133, verse 1. I'm reading from the English Standard Version. Behold, how good and pleasant it is when brothers dwell in unity. I actually want to add verse 2 to it. It says, it is like the precious oil on the head running down on the beard, on the beard of Aaron, running down on the colour of his robes. Father, we thank you for the Arab community in Israel. We thank you, Father God, for your blessing upon their lives, knowing that Jesus, your word makes us know that you are the maker of all peoples, of all language, of tribes, and of tongues, Lord. You are the one who, in your infinite wisdom, decided to create the different languages, the different ethnic groups that we find on the face of this earth. And Lord, we know that when we look at history, and in fact, even the Arabs themselves, though many of them may be identified as Muslims, they also claim that Abraham is their forefather. And we know that this same Abraham is the one that you entered into covenant relationship with and is the reason why the people of Israel or Jewish descendants will use the phrase the God of Abraham, of Isaac and of Jacob. So in other words, we know that Father from that biological stance alone, it is believed that they are brothers and their sisters. We thank you, Father God, therefore, that in Israel, we know that, God, there are many Arabs that have considered the land to be their land. And there are many, O oh God, who work alongside Israel, Israelis in peace. Father God, even particularly, I understand, in the health sector and so on. But Lord God, though there are reports that sometimes, Father, there seems to be 
the the sense and evidently so that there are pockets of di discrimination against the Arab um, community. Father, we're praying that because your word says how pleasant it is for brothers to dwell in unity, we're praying today that not only will there be unity amongst the Arab community and, and the Israeli community, not only will there be opportunities for them to work alongside in harmony like they do in some of the sectors that God Almighty it is reported that they 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 work alongside each other peacefully but I am praying that Lord you will cause there to be equal opportunity presented Father God Almighty to those of God within the Arab community Father God in Israel. I was also really moved and touched to know that the many Christians or the percentage of Christians, Father God, in Israel are actually from the Arab community. It was humbling for me. But again, it also is testament to the fact that Jesus, you died for all. As your word says, you died for all once. And so we thank you that these Arab community, Father God, that are identified as Christians in Israel, Lord God, are there and an indicator that Father God Almighty, you are the one who redeems all who come to you, who acknowledge Christ Jesus as Lord and Savior. So thank you, Father God, for the work you have done in advancing the course of the gospel through this particular groups, Father God, knowing that the largest percentage of Christians in, in Israel are actually from the Arab community. Thank you for what you have done through them, Father God, to advance the course of the gospel in the nation. Thank you for what you are yet to do through them, Father God, that even as we prayed yesterday that there will be a revival, Father, it is therefore important that today, Lord, I pray that these Arabs, Father God, will be welcomed and will be given um, respect and treated with dignity Father God, by the Israeli community. For who knows, they might be the very one through whom God Almighty you use as instruments, Father God, even as um, you, we, we desire to see, Father God, the outpouring of your spirit and a revival breaking forth in Israel like never before. But God, we know that even in biblical times, even devout Jews, Father God Almighty, consider themselves more important, some of them did not even want to mingle with the Gentile population. And so, God, it may be that even in Israel now, there are pockets of um, um, devout Jewish people who may not want to intermingle and perhaps um, engage with Arabs on a certain level. But Lord God, if we are believing that you will command your blessing, that they will dwell together in unity, then it means that some of these barriers needs to be broken down and torn down. So we're praying in the name of Jesus that you are the one who is able to break those barriers. So Father, in the name of Jesus, may you begin to move in a way that perhaps has never been seen before, that you will break down those barriers, break down those barriers, barriers of God Almighty, that will foster unity, love, and respect, Father God, amongst those communities. Barriers that would en ensure that the Arab communities, Father God, are not disenfranchised in the name of Jesus, but barriers that will be broken down for the advancement, Father God, of the move uh, of your spirit and for the sake of the gospel, even in that community. So I pray your blessing and protection also over the Christian community, Father God Almighty, in, 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 in amongst the Arabs in Israel. I pray that, Father God, you will amplify their voice. I pray that, God, you will cause them to have a fresh revelation of who you are, of the finished work of the cross, Father God, that they will not be ashamed of the gospel of Christ and that God Almighty, where they may have um, religious beliefs, Father God, that is hindering the move of your spirit, that you will cause those religious beliefs and barriers that they may, themselves may have put up. Father God, may you tumble it down in the name of Jesus so that the truth, O oh God, that the power of your spirit will have free reign 
amongst these um, Israeli uh, um, Arabs that identify as Christians, that God, you will give them opportunities to share the gospel, that through them, oh God, and as they work with other Christian um, community groups, Father God, in Israel, that Father God, in unity, because they work together in unity, you will command your blessing. And as you command your blessing, there will be a change and a shift, Father God, within the um, Israeli Arab community in Israel. We also pray, Father, there are those who say that um, a lot of them are not represented even in parliament, Lord. And we pray that, Father, you will open room for there to be many more even um, going in and working alongside one another with a common purpose, Father God Almighty, of ensuring that Israel becomes the place, oh God, that you will be identified and seen by the whole world as a land, oh God, that is dear to your heart, as the place, Father God Almighty, that you have spoken about in, uh, beautifully, Father God, in scriptures, Father because Lord God, we desire that they will work together, not because one person will be wanting to rule over the other, but because they recognize themselves as brothers dwelling together in unity, seeking the common good of the nation, Father. So we pray that where religious affiliations, Father God Almighty, is not be being a blessing, may you cause them to look beyond that, to recognize that they can still foster love, harmony amongst themselves for the common good and well-being of Israel without necessarily letting their religious beliefs in any way hinder that love and that unity. Pour out your blessing upon the, the Arab community in, in Israel and those of God Almighty that feel that they do not have a voice or they're disenfranchised, may you change that perception. Let there be a change, not only theoretically, but on the ground. Let there be a change that is inspired by the power of your Holy Spirit. For we know that when your Holy Spirit is at play, nobody will be left out. And that is what we pray for, even O God, concerning the Arab community in Israel. We give you glory. We give you praise. In Jesus' name, amen. We're now going to go over our memory verse. In 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5, we destroy arguments and every lofty opinion raised against the knowledge of God and take every thought captive to obey Christ. We're personalizing it by saying, I destroy arguments and every lofty opinion raised against the knowledge of God and I take every thought captive to obey Christ. The Lord bless you and I look forward to sharing with you tomorrow in Jesus' name. Amen.